So I think the real benefits of having the Back to Earth program for the Strathbogie Shire was that we had a, a pre-made package that we could take out to our local community. We had a really short lead-in time to our organic service. So we were able just to basically pick up the resources that Back to Earth had actually developed and implement those in a relatively quick manner for our local communities. So from a customer point of view, the biggest thing with the green waste rollout was the education beforehand. So having the whole team fully in the know with what's happening, with um, all the information that the customers may want. Between all departments, we needed customer service on board, we needed our rates department on board, and particularly we needed councillors on board, just to be able to give a consistent message to residents and enable them to use the service appropriately. Working with our local communities was really important and understanding our demographic of how we were actually going to um, communicate with people of different age groups and um, in different locations was you know, something that was important to us. We really relied upon other councils helping us out, um, being in a collaborative approach to look at um, tendering for contracts, our new waste contracts, which both provided us savings dollar-wise and environmentally. As a resident, I've found the Green Bins a tremendous initiative of the Shire. They were rolled out compulsorily to everybody. We did get a really large influx of phone calls and counter-inquiries with residents just wanting to know what was happening. So the main things they want to know is when is the change happening, how much is it going to cost them and what can now go in this bin. So with a couple of audits results that we did of household waste bins in 2007 and 2010, we found that 45% of what we were sending to landfill was made up of food and garden organics. This council looked at a uh, three bin system and looking at uh, the pros and cons of how it actually operated, originally the council looked at township zones only. Uh, and at the 11th hour I decided to look at outer lying areas and that created a bit of an issue in relation to communication. What the council did was set up a uh, wasties group and this innovative group was made up of community members that went out um, to the community, went to the farmers markets and distributed the message about how good organics are. It's a terrific idea that a group of people um, very concerned about the waste in our landfill decided that with the support of the Shire we get the message out there. So educating on the differences of what can now go in the green waste bin to reduce the items in that garbage bin was a big thing for residents so having all that information on hand for them would be really good. With the bin came a caddy that we use in the kitchen. It's an easy process you just put all your scraps and food waste and weeds. I've got lots of weeds. Our objective was to cut our landfill waste by 35% um, over that first year of service and also looking at increasing our um, resource recovery rates, our curbside diversion rates. So the council uh, has achieved a financial result, more importantly from an environmental perspective has reduced significantly the amount of waste that goes to our landfills. So we decreased our landfill waste by 47%. And our curbside diversion rate went from 32% right up to 68%. Both were amazing results for us. The other thing I suppose is to make sure you pre-plan. Um, we change decisions, council change decisions fairly regularly throughout the process, right up to the 11th hour. What we need to make sure that we've got something embedded six to eight months out so that our messaging can be consistent and we can inform the community in a, in a, in a reasonable time frame for them to get ready for the service.